Heavenly Father, as we seek to hear your word, we pray that this attitude of being grateful will be the attitude that we are going to have through this service. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Let's welcome DCIKZ main campus worship team. Let's welcome them. Let's tell them something. Let's tell them something. This is Shiloh, a place of what? Let's tell them. This is Shiloh. A place of breakthrough. Let's appreciate the Lord again for them as they sit. Amen. We may get seated. Thank you so much for coming to worship with us today. As they sang that song, I remembered that... Uh, that, is, that, that was our favorite song. Mungu yu mwema, mungu yu mwema, mungu yu mwema, yu mwema kwangu. That was the song that we sang everywhere we went, in every CU meeting as we met on a, on a Wednesday where I went to school and I don't know where, where, which one was yours, but we sang mungu yu mwema. The only thing that the theology that we had, Ameniyoko and Isipata Tabu, but then I discovered once you get saved, the devil knows you are, so the devil attacks you. And many times you wonder, why? Why? It's on, is it only me? And you're not alone because even David at one time was wondering, why are the unrighteous prospering? And the Bible says, until he did some such, and he discovered it wasn't true. It wasn't true. We are better off in the Lord than, than them. Uh, Alice Mudoni Jerry Kimani uh, she is not here with us today and I'm not with her where she is. So I want to bring her greetings to you. Pokeni salamu za Alice. Alice anahubiri huko. Maybe I think it is good to say the only time that you can be separated is when both of you are serving the Lord. Kazi ya buwana. Uh, she is there ministering to the church there and I'm here. When I sat there I thought there is a song that I wanted to hear you sing before I hear it sung in Jamaica. I'm going to Jamaica today. And there is a song that we normally sing, Born, born, born again. I'm glad I'm born again. Born, born, born again. I'm glad I'm born again. Born of the water, spirit and the blood. I'm glad I'm born again. Born of the water, spirit and the blood, I'm glad I'm born again. Weli ni me zaliwa, maraya pili. Ni me zaliwa, maraya pili. Kwa majina roho, zifu ni me zaliwa. Kwa majina roho na ronga katifu na ime saliwa. Thank you so much. <laughs> Deliverance Church at 40. Have you thought about that? Yes. Deliverance Church at 40. I'm still amazed. It looked like yesterday. The only thing that causes me to know it is not that yesterday is the building that we have in Zimmerman. Because from where the church is, the church down there, Kabla Ijakwe Agorofa, we would see ACK St. Andrews from the church. Which means, na ikuwa ya Agorofa pia, ata nayo ilikuwa enziyo, tulikuwa sawa. Sisi wote tulikuwa tunatembea katika muanga. 
na mabati ilikuwa nyingi kuliko mawe but you would see it but now unless you are told unaona hapo hapo panaonekana hakuna kitu hapo chini hapo dio st andrews iko so i can see the the growth and then my first place where i sa- i stayed was near the the primary school resembo primary school i still pass by there to see my the house that i used to to stay but the one i stayed at um, upper base unless i tell you there was a house you can't see it they have really worked on it there are so many things around there so i have i have reason to thank god every time you told people you are from zimmerman they would add gedurai because gedurai was so famous not for good things gedurai they used to be taller people who used to carry chuma kwa nguo so anaweka hiyo chuma na kuinua juu wale wengine wanakupora wakikuacha hata uone njia so you would tell them you are from zimmerman they say gedurai eh Then the other thing that happened I'm just giving you history they used to charge us more from Zimmerman to town we used to pay more than Kahawe and Gedurai because they used to say how oh, watu wana maringo hawatakaki kupangwa so we are the only people that were refusing kupangwa the others wana pangwa kama ndizi ama ngwashe wana ja kwa hiyo gari ikifika hapa watu wa Zimmerman wanaiangalia nao tukiingia tunalipa zaidi ya wale wako hiyo ni kitu kingine kitu kingine nakumbuka yazima kwamba kulikuwa na maji nyingi kulikuwa ukiwa kwa barabara unaona tutovu 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 unaona kila mahali eh, hivyo and today i wonder hiyo maji ilienda wapi kulikuwa na mto hapa Zimmerman kukinyesha kulikuwa na jamaa walikuwa akitusaidia kuvuka huo mto hapa Abadea anakuweka kwa mgongo mkishafika katikati anakuambia we umekuwa mzito zaidi sasa naonelea either uongeze ama nikuache hapa <laughs> karibu na kanisa huko haungevuka lakini hapa kulikuwa na vijana wanasubiri watu kuwavukisha hiyo ni story za Zimmerman. Hiyo mto ilienda wapi? Hiyo mto haiko. Nasema hayo mambo yote. I'm, I'm saying all these things so that you can look back and be grateful over what God has done. Being grateful for what God has done. When I came here, I came with Alice then we got our children here Amen. Thank you <laughs> Although they are very interesting one of them says mimi nilizaliwa banana that's nyambura and then Mungai says mimi nilizaliwa zimaman naye jo anasema na mimi nilizaliwa sukari Thank God Ridgeways atujapata mwingine <laughs> <laughs> But I want to talk about ungrateful person. An ungrateful person. Ungrateful heart which misses the blessing. Ungrateful heart that misses the blessing. Have you ever done something for someone and you have expected that someone to say thank you? and all what you get is silence but what still a complain an ungrateful heart ungratefulness is a condition that affects not just our relationship with others but also our relationship with god being very very ungrateful 
So we'll be looking a few, at, at a couple of scriptures, and then uh, today I hope I will finish. Because last time I was here, I got excited. I did not finish. There are a couple of passages that we are going to look because we are looking at this ungrateful person. By the way, say hi to your neighbor. Encourage them to be grateful. Ask them, what are you grateful for? Sahi, Sahi, what are you grateful for? You know, some of you are not even grateful you have sat next to that person. If I knew, then I would relocate. If you are not grateful you are sitting next to me, I would, re I would relocate and move somewhere else. In the Gospel of Luke, chapter number 17, verse 11 to 19, is a story of Jesus heals the ten lepers. Now it happened the day after, the, after that he went into a city called Nine, and many of his disciples went with him and a large crowd. And when he came near the gate of the city, behold, a, a dead man was being carried out, the only son Hey, it is 17. Wacha hasikufe. Hey, nimefika kwa kukufa ni kaona kweli tumeenda ruti ingine. Now it happened as he went to Jerusalem that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. Then as he entered a certain village, there met him ten men who were lepers who stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. So when he saw them, he said to them, Go, show yourself to the priest. And so it was that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when they saw that he was healed, returned and with a loud voice glorified God. Verse 16. And fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a kikuyu. Oh my goodness. So Jesus answered and said, Where are the other ten? Were, were, were not the other ten cleansed, but where are the nine? Were there not any found who returned to give glory to God except this kikuyu? Or this foreigner? And he said to him, Arise, go your way. Your faith has made you well, it's a very interesting story. One of them, when he saw. In other words, I, as I hear God minister to me, I think what he wants me to do is to be observant. As, as he was going, he saw. And you know, many times we don't open our eyes so we don't see what God is doing. So we can keep on complaining and murmuring and crying and yet there are things that God is doing but we are not seeing. In other words, we have, we have not opened our eyes to see. So this man was alert when he saw. Uh, when he saw, he was healed. And he looked at the others and he saw they were healed. He turned around. There was no need of going to the priest. Because in, in those days, the priest was also the doctor. They needed to go to the priest so the priest can observe them and test them and see whether they had leprosy. Because there were those instructions that were given by Moses in the Old Testament of observing whether a healing has taken place where if you had leprosy or nothing has happened. So there was a need for them to show themselves up. But when he got healed... He knew the best person to go back to is the one who has healed him so that he can see it worked. There was a miracle that had taken place. Ungratefulness, if you want, is blinded to blessings. Jesus heals the ten lepers. They were outcast. They were isolated from the society. They were cut off from their family and friends. But when Jesus healed them, only one of them comes back to give thanks. The others, though they were healed, are too busy running out to show themselves to others. 
Ungratefulness often stems from not recognizing the blessings we have received. The other nine were physically healed, but they missed the spiritual healing. They missed, they, they missed the spiritual healing. Only one of them was made whole because he acknowledged the source of his blessings. 1 Thessalonians 5.18, the Bible says, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. So there is a will of God for you and for me. There is a will of God for us. There is something that we need to do as we tell him the goodness that he has shown us. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Let's never forget when God does it so that we can appreciate him. There were ten. One turns around. He opens his eyes. He discovers he's healed. He goes back to Jesus. And Jesus says, where are the other nine? And then for him, he tells, now you are whole. Now it's not only physical, but even in your spirit, you've been made whole. And you know, some of us get healed physically, and we forget there is a wholeness. We need to go back and tell Jesus, you have blessed me so that we can get the wholeness. You, 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 as I speak to you in my spirit, as I celebrate 40 years, I'm asking God for a wholeness. Yeah. Huh? For God to release a wholeness for us. A wholeness. Ili hata kamjengo tunajenga hapa kiwe kimjengo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. A wholeness. A wholeness. So these people forgot. And how often do we focus more on the gifts, the gifts that we have desired, the gift that we have wanted, and, and some of those gifts, we already have them. Like the nine lepers, can we be so eager to move on with life that we forget to stop, that we don't forget to stop to thank God? You know, some of you here are blessed. Kubarikiwa, umebarikiwa. Yeah. All what you need to do is to look down you. You see, there are people that don't live like you do. You know, I, I got a very interesting testimony. This girl was taken to a boarding school by the parents. Boarding school. Salimia jinaniyako, boarding school. You know, some of you boarding school, you don't want to go. Why? Because unawacha kuku na chapati nyumbani, sindio? But we were running away from Githeri that had no beans. So boarding school, I'm going to be a Boarding school. Ugali na cabbage na nyama. Boarding school. Mchele ai. I'm going boarding school. Na kemogate. Tovi. Boarding school. So this girl is taken to a boarding school. Thank God for <laughs> boarding school. In this boarding school, there was everything. But they were giving a testimony. At that, we would get hungry. And my parents would not send me anything that I would even try to eat Colgate paste. You see, if you are not grateful, you will not see what God has done and all what you carry. He's for greet them again, boarding school. Now, some of us got the first shoes when we went to high school, and we went to a cobbler. We took our dirty shoes to a cobbler, dusty, and we gave our feet to the cobbler, and he drew the, the feet, and he made the shoes. And I went to school with my shoe for four years. It was a shoe. Four years. Everything. Four years. I wish I saved it so that I can sh let people see my sample of a cobbler shoe in thicker town in the market where I went for this cobbler to make a shoe for me. Why am I grateful? It's because there were others that did not have shoe and they were going to day schools. You know, I told somebody, oh, oh, <laughs> I don't know whether that person is here, but if you are here, just forgive me. You know, we were having a testimony and I said, Dutu, nashi dete. Dutu. Najua dutu. 
Dutuni au kamnyama kagine kanaigiaga huko eh. Na kana kana njia ya ku... we kanaweza igia style nyingine mali nyingine. Wacha tu kidole ako kako ka kitu. Aise. So hiyo iko. Na mtu anakuangalia saa hii anashindwa iliingilia wapi. I'm just telling you what you see now is a product that God has worked on until now. Ida nashio. Do you know those two animals? And we thought it was common. You would see us sitting around trying to help each other deal with them. Me, my sisters and my brother, we are handling them on a Saturday afternoon. Because when it is hot, they decide to come out of the hair and walk down the stream so that they can hide themselves under the clothes. So there we are. Duke dute. Nanie gorute. And then you look at me, you wonder, how did they come? My friend, you are seeing a product that God has not finished with me yet. Be grateful. Be grateful. Sitai kuuliza ni wangapi hawajakuru na dutu kwa sababu ninajua ni wengi. Do you know why? We cleaned you. We washed you. We, there was no dust in the house. Hiyo dutu na kuguni. Unajua kuguni wewe? Wewe well, unajua kuguni wewe? Kuguni unaijua? Oh, imodore usiku. Ndio utajua kuguni ni nini. Harufu italeta huko kwa hiyo house ikiji defend. Grateful heart. Oh my goodness. I pray that we can be grateful. Adisa hiyo unaenda unaangalia kiatu ile utavaa. Sema hii siku hii. You know that? Wewe, shirt is kuvai. And you know there was a time I had only one shirt. Shirt unaweza fua na hizo zingine unakaa tu hivyo tu. Sasa kuna kauhondo kengine kanda tokazia hizo style au kauhondo. God I give you thanks. I want to be grateful. Secondly, the second thing that I want to tell you is that ungratefulness is rooted in something we call entitlement. When you think you are entitled, eh? the minute you think God ought to have done it, you become so ungrateful. It's like this uh, parent that was sent 10,000 shillings and the son is still waiting for the parent to say thank you. But the parent did not say thank you. So he calls after one week, Daddy, did you get the money? He says, Dio, rakini au kusuma ya kutoa. Ya kutoa na angurikumi, ni gani kubua? Si basi unirudushie ni kutubia ya kutoa. Do you know, God blesses us, but we are not grateful. God might take the blessing from us. Atio kama ningesomea Kenya High so what so what Please don't ask your neighbor where he went to school but tell him you graduated Yeah It is not where I went I'm a product of what God has done Yeah and I'm looking to men and women God has dealt with and we need to be grateful Ukaamuka asubuhi I say kuna watu leo hii hawakuamka walienda kuchukua kichwa kikawa kingumu wakaweka chini uzito wa kichwa picture actually this point i thought i would bring a few people here for demonstration but i came late i would have called you to do demonstrate this because i don't know whether you have given children gifts have you? If you haven't, try. If you have your brother's children, and if you don't have, I have children. <laughs> Although they are adults. If you give children gifts, and you have thought about it, the gift. You, you have even planned about it, the gift. For example, every time I go out, grant. 
my children, I don't buy them things. Grandchildren. Hey, we spoil them. They have to have gifts. Even now I'm wondering. So then it was a kuanunuli and a twenty nalis. And you take one to a picture, one to me a picture, and you on a video. Because I was there now. But that's the point. The point is this. If you give a child a gift and then they open the gift, the gift could be worthy a lot of money. But if this child wanted e-game, video game, even if you bought that child a bicycle, Anyone, the child will look at the bicycle and throw it to you. Sitaki. We're not like a video game. So some of us are like those children. God gives us, but we still want Mimi Sitaki. Mimi Sikutaka Pro Box. Nitaka. Iyo. But you know, I started with a Volkswagen. It's a very nice car. Volkswagen, Beetle, wonderful car. In Asia, Petroli Pale, Resambo, Rakini, I kunyu wagi maji, na iwe kagu vitu, kwa hivyo na iwe kafiri, ina teremu kaa, baka base, minaingia kwa nyumba na iskuma kidogo ina ipag. Kari ya ajabu. Ninaenda na ivasha inaisia petroli pale. Kinongi uko juu. Sikujuu ya kinongi. Unaita nini pale? Viewpoint. Apo. Bas. Unaizima. Inda teremuka 27 kilometers baka na ivasha town. Unaiwacha kwa petrol station. Gari nzuri. Yeah. So there are some vehicles that are very good for you as you begin. However, there are others that don't have it, but you got it. So what do you do? Lifting up your hands and thanking God will be the thing. But ungrateful heart is like that of a grateful ch- a child. Complaining that why did you not do me like so and so? Why did you not bless me like so and so? Why did you not open door to me like so and so? Why... Am I feeling the way I'm feeling? And I'm not like so and so. So ungratefulness grows out of a heart that feels entitled. We assume that we deserve good things. So when you are unwell, you take God and you want to, to lecture to him. Mimi. Mimi ni melala hapa. Mimi kuna tumbo yangu imekuwa vitu huko kama shamba. Na mimi ndio nahubiria watu kwanza wanaponaga. You know, one time I was arrested. Tell your neighbor, arrested. arrested. I had not stolen, but I was arrested. Yes, Why we were arrested, the four of us, was because we, we were singing from Machakos University, which was Machakos Technical. Now it's, my, it's good to say it became a university. became a university. So we were coming from a youth camp, and we are hungry, because the food was eaten by the others. So we are going down to Machakos. It's about uh, three point something kilometers to the town. So we are singing Mulinda Wanje. And we are in the road. So we are going this way and this way. And this way and this way. As we celebrate the goodness of the Lord. Though we are hungry. We are going down to eat something. Then when we got to Isili. Now I'm trying to give some people the geography of Machakos. Isiri inakuwaka. Uko kuna isiri hata kariobangi hiko. Uko machakos. So isiri kuna menyua mai hapo ilikuwa kwa siju kaba imeisha zaasa. Menyua mai ni hile miti ya Brugham. Somebody had been killed there the previous week and the police had hid themselves there. So when we arrived where they were, they came out of the bush but one of us ran for his life. Hey, akatuonyesha dust. Wakatuacha. Wakafanyana naye hivi. Wakashika. Wakasema nyinyi endeni. Tukasema atuendi. Kule mnampeleka 
muna tupeleka soto. Tulikuwa tunaenda kukula sasa hatukuli tukule muna mpeleka. So they took us to Machakos police station. And we entered in the cell. Walitutoa mishipi na viatu tukawaachia. Tulipoingia huko tukaona jamaa wako huko. Ah, hujaona vile tulishukuru Mungu. Tukapeana high five kila mtu akaenda kona yake, aombe ili to deal na hawa jamaa tumewakuta hapa. Wakaogopa wote wakaenda katikati. Tukajua sasa tutawahubiria hapo katikati. So mmoja ni bishop squeeze bishop ni ya kibishop actually. Ya naombea pande ile mimi naombea pande yule alifanya tufanya naombea pande na mwingine hapa. <laughs> Tunaomba nini? Tunaita bingu si ifungue tuende hapana ni tutayarishe kwa sababu usiku mzima haya no mahono kile there is no way no way no way no way no way, no way. so we, we, did, we did not know we prayed for over one hour we did not know we did not know that the OCS was called we did not know we did not know that as we continue praying the OCPD was called we did not know but we we were up and the heavens were open for us we were just about to say amen and attack these guys when the door was opened. The OCPD said, tokeni, tokeni, tokeni. Muna, muna, muna sana, tokeni, tokeni, tokeni. <laughs> Haya, tokeni, tokeni, muna omba sana. So, tukasema, alafu, apana, endeni, endeni. So, that archbishop looked at the OCPD and said, even so, Lord Jesus, Come. Teremuka. Tukawacha huko wakitetemeka. We would have complained. But we saw an opportunity. I'm talking to you that look at the situation you are in so that you can see what opportunity is God giving you there. Oh yes, it might be the hardest of time. Maybe you are going through a very hard moment. What is God trying to help you? What is God saying to you? Where does God want to help you? You know, for me to go to Machakos, it was a punishment. Mimi nilikuwa dhika technical. Na nilikuwa class prefect. Sasa nilikuwa niingie hiyo levo ingine. Ya wale watu ambao you are not a class prefect, we ni captain. Vitu kama hivyo, vitu kama. Yeah. But we got saved. And every teacher was our target. Every teacher was our target. And the sermon was so bad because we told the teachers, if you don't repent, you will die. And when you die, you will burn with the fire and brimstone. Tachomeka ire ujaona. Wewe, tachomeka ire ujaona. But every time we told them we are going for mission, they contributed so that we can go away that weekend. So, Form 2, when you finish Form 2, they would, if you are not good for discipline they will take you to mawingo or sigaragara technical ziko huko sigaragara iko hapo 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 bukura hapo hapo mawingo iko huko upande wa nyanza huko so they had transferred everybody mimi nilikuwa nimebaki the because i was a good boy i was a, i was a prefect but for him to keep me there and I was taking over from the archbishop because he was leaving. So I was going to take over. So my father was called by the principal. And he was told, go tell your son not to not kuokoka okoka and he can stay in school. That was towards December. We were going for Christmas. So in other words, I was not going anywhere. And my father, may the Lord bless you, Pastor Francis. You're a good man. When he was told why, he said, Nikuokoka. Ah, pelekeni ye mawe, peleka ye mawingo, uko, peleka ye sigaragara. Kama nikuokoka, sitaki akataye kuokoka. Because when I went to Form 1, nilitoka. Nikuambie? Yeah. Nilitoka kotini. Na niliwachiriwa kwa sababu wa kukuwa na evidence ya kutosha. Kwa hivyo nilipotoka hapo mbio. Nikakwenda nyumbani nikakuta barua ya kwenda form 1. Hata si kurudi nyuma. 
nikaanza kuokoka sande ya kwanza nikaokoka mara nane so when my father knew that i have gotten born again then it doesn't matter so when i landed in machakos i knew there must be something that god has brought me here for not for punishment because god does not punish me he loves me he opens a door for me nikajifundisha kikamba kama mtu anataka kuwa mp wa ukambani ndio unasikia nikiongea kikamba naichoroza kabisa because I possessed that land. Yeah. Some of you bado unalia how can we sing the Lord's song in a strange sing it. Who is coming to know the Lord Jesus Christ because of you? So un- ungratefulness grows out of a heart that feels entitled. We assume we deserve good things and when life doesn't meet our expectation, we become resentful. The Israelites in the wilderness were freed from slavery. Yet they complained constantly about their food and condition longing to return to Egypt where they had comfort despite being in bondage. Philippians 2:14 and 15 the Bible says do everything without complaining or arguing so that you may become blameless and pure children of God without fault in a crooked and deprived generation. When we start to feel like God or others or us something that is when ungratefulness takes root we need to cultivate a heart of humility and gratitude remembering that every good thing comes from god every good things come from god and god does not give us something that is not right i want to finish by giving you the last point gratitude unlocks deeper blessings and when i become grateful it will unlock if you go to a hotel like java and there is a waiter who serves you and serves you well and you tip them and they say thank you you feel so good next time you want the same waiter so that you can also tip them again so that they can say thank you because when somebody appreciates you you feel my goodness ka 52 kama afanya uni appreciate hivyo siku nyingine nikisoma sana nipate pesa nyingi nitakupatia hiyo 100 wewe yani you are so grateful you this person is ah ujui ujui hiyo story ya kuwa appreciated ah inakuwa kama when i get to java and somebody says bishop i know you Siwe ni bishop mwa ile church inakuwa lazima nilikuwa TRM. Ah huyo 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 lazima nimwachie kitu. Kunijua? I say. Hey. Kunijua, you know. A man a man was going through a very difficult time. His health, his business, everything he was struggling. His relationships were strained and his health as I said earlier was declining. Yet every day he woke up in the morning remember relationship not right health is not right business is not right he looked for three things to thank god salimia jirani yako mwambie jirani three things unaweza kosa vitu vitatu tu tatu tu sio nyingi tatu tu tatu tu ah Mwambie huyo wacha huyo huyo labda hakushika vizuri mwambie huyo mwingine vitu vitatu unaweza kosa vitu vitatu So this guy every morning he has pain he would thank God for health and super health every time he woke up he would thank God for his business thriving and overcoming the obstacles every time he woke up he would thank God for his relationship how perfect his relationship is you know some of us you want to run away when kikiumana but this person looked for three things and he thanked god every day of his life he thanked god every day and you know what what happened the more he focused on being grateful to god the more he noticed god was working in his relationship in his health and in his business there are some of you actually today before we leave you have to identify three things so that you can be thankful to god or oh, tell your neighbor neighbor bishop is talking about you
Gratitude does not just change our attitude. It changes our circumstance. Have you ever met somebody and you're asking him, are you okay? Why do you think we are asking them whether they are okay? Even when they tell us I'm okay. Ina imeandikwa, unaonekana. Wasiwasi umejaza. Ati are you okay? And then you think, me? I cannot confess I'm not okay. Me, I'm okay. Are you okay, Bishop? Do you want to know? Maybe that could be a better answer. Eh? Do you want, do you have time to know? Because, hapa, we are not all okay. Lakin tulifudishwa na mama zetu. We muega. That's what they were taught. Murembe. Murembe kandi. We muzeo. I say. Ama anakuambia selva hii. Yani mkua, mkua sawa. Hana wakati. So God comes and changes his situation. Because our circumstance, remember, when the one leper returned to Jesus, he was not just healed physically, but spiritually made whole. His faith expressed through gratitude led him to a deeper blessing. And there are some of us that where we are, we need to move into a deeper blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. So when we cultivate a heart of gratitude, we unlock the peace and joy that only comes from God. It is like a door to God's presence. And through it, we receive more than just material blessings. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So gratitude, we should make it a lifestyle. Not just for one moment. I'm talking to Deliverance Church Zimmerman for, at 40. We don't just wait to celebrate on the third. And we don't stop on the third. But we keep on celebrating until Jesus Christ comes. We make it a lifestyle. So as Christians, we must remember the many blessings we have received and live each day in thankfulness to God. Like the one leper who returned, let us be the people who fall at Jesus' feet in gratitude acknowledging that everything good in our lives comes from him. Hallelujah. Amen. There are only two minutes, and I want to give you those two minutes. Can you imagine the preacher today wants to give you two minutes? What I want you to do with those two minutes, I want you to stand up. Now, some of you need a minute to stand up. And I want you, first of all, to close your eyes. Just close your eyes. And I want you to think about three things that you can be grateful about. Just three. Three things that you can be grateful about. Three. Whether they are coming from the challenges that you are going through or they are coming from just where the Lord has placed you in life. Three things that you can be thankful about. Now I want you to open your eyes. Have you the three things? Right? We are not praying for anybody today. Ati tukuombe. Nataka hata we mwenyewe ushukuru mungu. Ata mimi. So we want to lift up our voices to the Lord in the next one and a half minutes so that we tell God how thankful we are. You know, let's lift up our voices to the Lord. Father, we want to thank you this morning. I want to thank you this morning. I want to thank you, dear Father, for health. Dear Lord, I don't take it for granted. I thank you. I bow before you and say you are my God, you are my healer. You are rougher to me. Heavenly Father, I come to you and thank you. Because of your provision, I have not lacked you, have provided. You are a Jehovah Jireh to me. And I want to thank you for being a Jehovah Jireh to me. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you that you have given me a family, both a family, a biological family and the family at Deliverance Church Kasarani and I want to thank you dear father that together we will have all the reason to celebrate the goodness of the Lord 
We say thank you, Jesus. We want to be grateful people because of the great things that, Heavenly Father, you have done for us. We give you honor and we give you praise. For this is our prayer in Jesus' name. I want to give you a homework then. And when we meet, please be honest. Because I know some of you, your life is going to change. Not because you're going to see a doctor, but just because you're going to allow yourself to be the doctor. Just thank God. Just thank God. Maybe you, you, you remember your father one time and you really want, you, you think a bus or a lorry should come over him, you know, because he punished you one time. You, you think you still want a revenge. Love him for the things that he did for you. Because there are some other good things that they did for you. Took you to school, bought you some clothes, and so on and so forth. Maybe one time you wanted 100,000, but he didn't have. But we thank God. Three things. A whole week. Give it a whole month of October. Let's be thankful, people. So that when we come in 3rd of November, our hearts will be full of gratitude to Almighty God. I want you to see it. I tried to make an announcement. <laughs> you know, that's what they used to tell us. But in this 40, as we journey towards 40, I want you to be a part of what we are going to do. I, I would talk about three things, but... Others will come because there are many things as we celebrate this. If I forget, there are people here that had told them so they can remind me. Ama waniambie ni kai waje wanisaidie. Ya kwanza, we want to be grateful to the Lord. We want to prepare ourselves and give thanks to the Lord for yourself, Whatever time you joined us, you want to be grateful to the Lord. So carry an offering, either on the third, and if you are like me, no, you are not like me, but if you are like me, pesa ikiwa mfuko. Inakuwaga na mageri umingi sana. Pesa, ebutu pa mfuko, mkono wako kwa mfuko. Eh, wale wanaweza guza pesa, guza kidogo. Si unaanza kusikia magerio yake. Kuishika tu, inaanza kukwambia what you can do with it. So that we don't wait until that day. We can, you can use that pay bill number or something and you put it at, um, we say it's celebration at 40. And um, it's your Thanksgiving for 40. You can start any time. It will be good for, for us as we keep on building towards that day. The second thing is that on the 3rd, 13th of October, we will have a collection. We are calling it Community. 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 Eh? Nisi. S, R, community, service, R. We know it's easy to anyway. Men and the ladies have a pro projects they want to do at that time on the 19th. So we are saying on the 13th, let's come with gifts or money, and then they will know what to do. Because once we have ungas and so on, We'll bless the people that are around us um, on the 19th. Uh, hey, mtu na kujaga hapa na sahau, eh? Nimesa matatu, eh? Eh? Nimesa mambiri? Nitaka useme nimesa matatu hili ni kai chini nijisikia ni memaliza. The third one was what? Naangalia watu nilikuwa nimewambi. Hata njini mulisa au? Haa, mimi nimeikumbuka. Salimia jirani yako. 
Mwambie jirani. He 40th. Is a serious business. Tutavaa t-shirt. Uniform itakuwa ni t. Musalimie tena t-shirt. Sasa tutakuwa tukiombea weather kadhaa ni t-shirt. T-shirt yako lazima iadikwe forte. Usije ingine inaadikwa 50 ama 39 ama 35. Na isije ijaadikwa kitu. Tunataka iadikwe for Zinaweza kuwa rangi ine ama tano. Yaani ili tuwe na ashes mtakuwa na kazi nzuri sana. Mkiona blue muzi, munaziweka zime, zimechanganywa vizuri. Zisije zinakaa blue. Pale pamoja watu wanaweza shindwa. Kwani blue yote ilienda kwa ile kona. So that and that for us to do that and we will bring that as an announcement later is that we want us to book so that we don't buy t-shirts that people will have nowhere to take them. So you will book your t-shirt you deposit some money and then the t-shirts will come and that day that day ni a t-shirt salimia jirani yako ni a t-shirt imagine t-shirt zilikuwa tatu 